The one and only Two Chains. What up, bro? What up, fool? How you What's feeling, going? sir? I feel real blessed, feeling real good, man. I told him this ain't like an interview. This is a family affair, man. I love interviewing my brother, man. It's definitely, it's like it's more of like a conversation, just a checkup, make sure everything good. There's nothing wrong with that, man. I yeah. appreciate 945 for holding me down since day Uno. And you know, Uno, Uno. I mean, you've been rocking, you know what I mean? What's up with it and just, you know, everything that we got. Um, when I say we, you know, the city of Atlanta, yes. you know, everything we got going on as far as being the go-to guys, and, yeah. you know what I mean, for the last yeah. decade or so. Remember when I, um, I texted you the other day and we had a conversation when I was telling you uh, the excitement for your, your rollout for albums are always there. Yeah. It, it, we can go back to the, the joint with, you know, with the, uh, the what you like to eat and being a chef and all yeah. that type of stuff yeah. to this one right here. What, what, what was the whole mind concept behind this pink house and just the rollout for it and for it to be this, I guess, Atlanta cultural phenomenon situation type? Uh, well, well, Pretty Girls Like Trap Music was a title that I thought of, um, you know, just going about my day, you know, using, uh, you know, things around me to get inspired. Yeah. Uh, I thought of the title Pretty Girls Like Trap Music because of social media. You know, you get the whole type of people that look a certain way that, that act another way. So mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of like judging a book by its cover. A lot of uh, you know, good girl, you know, the thugs or the bad guys. <laughs> that kind of summed that up. And then for the uh, album artwork, of course, I wanted to, to actually be an image that said Pretty Girls Like Travel Music, but I didn't want the image to be cliche. I didn't want to have a female on it. I didn't want to do anything like that. And so the concept that I came up with was combining things that represent the trap, the trap house, the uh, you know, just the trenches, the stove, you know. Everything. You know, everything and I and I and the most beautiful color in the world is, is pink. To me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's associated with women who are the beautiful, the most beautiful creatures yeah. in the world. And so I combine, you know, pink with the trap house and you know, ever since then it's been just a wave of pop up pink stuff. Now let's talk about this wave of this house. This house it's something that's really just stopped the whole city of Atlanta. I mean, I think I've seen you on every <coughs> news channel, CNN, everything, man. What, yeah. Did you think it was going to be this big where people like, it's like a, a, a Atlanta monument to a point, you know? Uh, yeah, it's the Eiffel Tower of a <laughs> Statue of Liberty. But, you know, um, for me, you know, some of this stuff you can't plan for is just definitely God working. Yeah, yeah. Um, you get the ideas and then, you know, you get a concept and then things start flowing. Um, you know, once something becomes a cultural icon or a cultural image, yeah. then you know that social media has taken a hold of it. And of so, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what happened with this this house. Like, it became um, a traveling destination for a lot of people that was outside of the city of Atlanta, um, besides the people inside of Atlanta. And it just, and it, but it ran neck and neck with, with my album, the cover, and the rollout. So it was just, it's just, man, a lot of that stuff. It's marketing and the other half is just God. Uh, marketing, whoever your marketing guy is, besides yourself, I'm sure he needs a raise. That was a crazy situation. Um, on top of that, uh, I think I seen something yesterday. With it's closing. It's, it's officially done. Are y'all moving in? Yeah, I mean, we might be through today. I don't know. I might, I might <laughs> extend it, but it's like, you know, like I'm getting, like a lot of the neighbors are getting upset. Why? I don't. Well, I get it. Uh, yeah, a lot of the neighbors. It. It's a, it's, a, it's like hard to park over there. So it's been, you know, instances where. Things that are out of my control, where it's just people or fans that yeah. are just disgruntled with the with the neighbors. There's been a lot of trash over there, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So some of the stuff that, you know, it's kind of almost like a test at the same time to see what we can do. To, like, can we have anything? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like one of those things, you know, <laughs> that they tore the car up like it was a yeah, fake car. Yeah, tore the car. I didn't care, you know what I mean? I How long care. you got the Rory there, was it? And, like, not long at all. <laughs> like, and you know, like... Uh, it was an experience, and it was for the culture, and it was for the kids. Like that's what it's for. It was for that. You, you know, know what my, I mean? my nieces asked me could I take them. Yeah, I mean, house. everybody from from we just did a photo shoot. Me and the girls just, yeah. just came from over there. So it's one of those things that you look back five or ten years later, be like that boy really, you know, did this. You yeah, know what man. I mean? Like literally, it's like when you come to Atlanta, it's not a monument. It's no place that you want to go. I don't know if it's you know, I don't know if it's the varsity or whatever you think. It's not. It's not. Martin like, the King Center. Yeah, I mean, varsity and then the trap house. Yeah, but the trap house is number one now. You yeah, know, it it's is. the place that people want to come, and you know, with trap being associated with something negative, I did the best I could to put a spin on it to show them that 
It's some, it's some positive things that come out of track. Always, man. Um, uh, tour is on the way. How, how are you preparing for this? Are you in the gym? Um, what, what are you doing? Are you eating a little better? Because you, you about to knock out about, what, 50 some shows? Yeah, I, I always eat well. I'm always in the gym. Um, it's, you know, you have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready, you know. So for me, um, I love entertaining. I'm in great shape. You know, I probably do an hour, hour and a half with minimum sweat, no water drinking. Stop it. doing this. No water drinking during the set. Um, and then, you know, the rest is just, you know, a mind and mental thing as far as me wanting to give people an experience, not just a show. Yeah. There's a lot of tours that popped out this year. And, 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 you know, will the Trap before. House be a part of the set? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's okay, that's cool. That's so that's you will be coming I'm out of the Trap House yes, a function with Pyro and all that. The whole nine, man. Can't Street really lights, everything. So make sure um, the, the Atlanta show is sold Atlanta out. Atlanta show is sold out, yeah. Yeah, we're trying that. to add another date to it. Sure, so, man. Yeah. At the Trap House. That'd be all right. <laughs> we did a listening party at the trap house, and that was when that was like the birth of the trap experience. It was hot in there, it was packed. Yeah, the music was loud. I was upset all the time. Man. Yeah, I'm it. like, this is what it's like. Yeah, awesome, deal with awesome, it. Awesome, awesome. Two Chains is definitely in the building, man. Listen, the album is out right now. Go support him if you have not bought it. You need to go get it, man. He's still in the building. You're kicking it with me for a minute, right? That's right. True. Couple in line. Y'all keep it locked. Yeah, for uh, four a.m., bro. That, that that's that. that un, I don't know if ever if, if a DJ has a you know me and you always have our personal conversation. Yeah. But four AM, bro. That's that uppercut in the club right now. It's 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 creeping up on uh, T Grizzly and him. Um, you need well, to notice if you yeah, haven't I, been in the I, club. I definitely in don't minute. know, and I, and I definitely like T Grizzly uh, T Grizzly's record. Uh, and you know I like I like what a lot of the younger guys are doing. Yeah. But you know you you need to know that once people get a hold to it. And consider your song a hit that you need to be working on the next one. And so that's been my mentality. Always. You know, I knew Good Drink was like out of here, you know, a couple months ago. So it was important for me to put other things in motion like, you know, It's a Vibe or, uh, you know, 4 a.m. and a couple other records I got out there. So, you know what I mean? Just trying to stay working. You know, for any artist out there, you know, we get most of the bulk of our money from, you know, entertaining and doing shows. And I... And that's our players to do shows until the wheels fall off. That's how to take care of these, oh, these right. kids. What, 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 from the, the BET Awards, with uh, you know, people interviewing you and, and, and maybe you know feeling some type of way about how you giving them the vibes. How would you have deal with that situation? Somebody walking off on an interview or something like that. Did I do that? No, you never did that. But somebody did that. They did that. By like the BET Awards. Yeah. Uh huh. It just depends. I mean, you got to think as an artist, we already, you know, we already over exceed what the <laughs> expectation is. You know yeah. what I mean? You, you expect us to come take pictures, sign autographs, smile, kiss people's babies. But the thing that you don't understand is that when you tell us to do interviews, please have something to talk about. Yeah. Like, nobody wants to know, like, you know, you know so your two chains, you know, and it's like the same question that I heard three or four times. It lacks originality. Uh, most of the people that do interviews, let me just clear that out. Most of the people that do interviews actually um, get the information before you come in. So some people walk off. Like as an artist, I've never done it, but I could see me doing it. No, you, you know wouldn't. what I'm saying? I could see me doing it because I know I'm educated. I know what I have to bring to the table. And if you ain't talking about nothing, we're wasting my time. Exactly. So I don't know who walked off. I'm a little, you know, I was like beating. Migos walked off. Oh, uh, well, they walked off. It was some crazy. It was oh, you talking about the Joe Budden Migos? Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Um, well, I went to that show already, you know what I'm saying? Academics, he just like, he one of them people that, you know what I mean? He ain't gonna hurt a first. He didn't say that. He got, he, got, he got the biggest, like, he got them thumbs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Joe Buns, he kind of with the, the stuff, but like, you can't. he kind of like, you know, Atlanta's different. I told him that when I was on there. Yeah. I told him that when I was, Atlanta's different. Like, it, you think I people, thought that was gonna try to kill you, but he can't yeah, have just a very well. can't kill me. I can out rap all them boys. I can I can out swag all them boys. How can they kill me? I'm having money. How can how can they kill me? How can they kill me? Like Not this is their, yeah. this is like a real. This is their way of reinventing themselves by having a very good show that I was intrigued on. and I wanted to go on, but like you gotta understand, all most of these rap peers, all of these rap peers. Since I just want to do this song with Eminem, I realized all of them respect this game, yes. respect this pimping. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's just, um, you know, when you come up there and you mature, you know it's a level of disrespect that they know not to pull on certain people. You know what I mean? And it's most people from Atlanta because we all watch each other grow. Atlanta one of the markets where we pull each other up, we root for each other, we ain't mm -hmm. really hating on each other. Mm -hmm. That's how everybody keep getting money. So, you know, for the Migos. I'm not, I'm, <clears throat> I saw it, you know, they made a bunch of memes or whatever, so that part was funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was kind of funny, but 
I mean, you got to give it to them boys. Like, when the boys came out, everybody wasn't right with them. If you say you was, then you like, a, you're, you know what I mean? You're a duck. You lie. Yeah, there you, go. you know what I mean? Well, nobody, only a few, you know, you got Gucci. You got a, a few people that believe them. Now they're making it cool to, 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 to be from the north side. It took years for that to break. Years. It took years. That's they went the west side, thing. east side, south side. We never included the north side, ever. <laughs> they, now they spell it a cool way, and it's like, okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But we never... Did that, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the south side, what the F, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. We got tipped them from the west side, we got Gucci from the east side. That's what we was rocking with. Yeah. So for, for them to come, you know what I'm saying, make a little way for themselves, you just gotta respect. I love when 2 Chan come up, man. He just, it's like talking to a big brother and just letting you know what the hell Talking to the truth. truth. If you don't like me, then you don't like the truth. No, nah, not at all. Not That's at all. That's all I did. Uh, uh, did you see the All Eyes On Me movie? One of yes, I did. I saw the All Eyes On Me movie. It was cool. It wasn't, it wasn't like that you know, like for that. me. Nah, um, you know, because I'm from that era, so, it, but I took my engineer who was uh, way younger than me, and he was intrigued, I think he he might have been dead, I mean, he might have been, he, not dead, but I don't think he was born, <laughs> when, I think Tupac was dead when he was born, I mean, yeah, there you yeah, go. Or something like that, so yeah. he was, I got a very young engineer, so he was intrigued, like, yo, I didn't know Pac did all that, but for the most part, you know, it was okay, especially after seeing, like, um, NWA and even New Edition, those were some great, you know what I'm saying? Mo New Edition was a good movie. Yeah, that's Heaven hey, Loves. Heaven Loves. Like my daughter loves. Hey, Heaven, what's up? Daughter. Hello. How you doing? Good. Good. You proud of your daddy? Yes, uh -huh. He's doing a very good job, right? New Edition. New Edition? New Edition. <laughs> movie coming uh, around. Yeah, tell me, talk about the movie. I think I'll be shooting it in October. Uh, that's all you need to know. I gave a few rappers some ideas and <laughs> all of them shoot movies now, so I'm just going to like fall back and wait. And uh, so you should you should uh, see the movie probably around February sometime. I'm trying to. When it's all said and done, somebody does your biopic. Uh, I mean, what, what do you think they're gonna take from it? Um, that I'm just an inspiration for the culture. You know what I mean? I think you know hard work beats talent. You know, you, you like you yeah. know you're a fan of my work. It's still a lot of people that I'm trying to reach. You know what I'm saying? Like it's still it's still people that I feel like I haven't re you know actually reached yet. So you really me, think that? Huh? Yeah, I do. So for me, I, I don't I don't believe in a glass ceiling. I don't. Believe that I reached my pinnacle yet. I know that sounds crazy. That's I feel crazy. like I have some more to inject into the world. I feel like I can move the cultural needle a little bit more. You know what I mean? Right. So, I love that. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up, man. Street Style 452 Chains is in the bin. Thank you so much for coming through, my Hi, brother. I, really me. I know this girl is meant for Sing me. It. Candy girl. What you say? All my world. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look so sweet. Mm. Hey. A special treat. Hey. Like that. Candy girl. Hey. Hey. I want to say. <laughs> uh, you're with me. You brighten up my day. That's big right there. Ooh. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh I, I know. know. Mm. Go. Go. I'm, I'm with, with you. you. I like that. Mm. Mm. You make me feel so good. Bye bye. Mm. Through and through. All right. The way you walk. Okay. What'd you say? And the, the way, way you talk. talk. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You always look so good. You make me forget Keep my, my thoughts. thoughts. That's fair. Do, um, do, do, do you really love me? me? Do you really love me? Do you really need me? Do you really need me? And then I'll always be there every night. Okay. That's what's up. And every every day. day. Don't get no hurt on him. Don't hurt on You always head. look so good. Oh, and In every way. Hey, I'm a genius. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm a genius. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. All right, I love, I love, look, Atlanta, I love y'all. I love everything about Atlanta. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I yes. love the fact that y'all support this pretty girl like trap music. I love my family. You should too. That's what's gangster, taking care of your family. So go be a gangster. Let's talk to y'all soon. Tell them peace out, heaven. Peace out. Yeah. Only with the number one station in the streets. Now I'm doing it. Streets 94.5.